What is up? This is Sean with Think Media TV and Think International. We've been getting a lot of questions whenever we go anywhere. Uh, we get a ton of attention because of our Think video setup, because of our Think setup, because of our Think setup, the camera set, our video camera setup. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what we use piece by piece, so check it out. For Think International videos, and if you want to check out one of those videos, you could see one right there. But this is our setup. We've got the Canon Vixia HFS 100. This is a camera that captures to SD card like this. It captures in AVC HD. And so that is actually a huge consideration. More and more uh, video editing software programs can edit AVC HD natively now. But uh, you do want to ask yourself in your workflow, can I just take these digital files off this camera and put them into my nonlinear edit editor and edit them? If not, I need to convert them into something that I can use. So that's the Vixia. It's on an Optica X grip, and this is a great device. It screws into the bottom of the camera down there, and you have all these options of where you mount the camera. And we mount it to the very edge, and we put on this uh, fisheye death lens. And this right here is the difference maker, my friends. This is a non-negotiable item. It's worth every penny of the investment. It makes the video stand out. It makes the videos look different. It gives them, uh, you know, they're kind of cutting edge. It also is extremely nice for just run and gun because you get everything in the shot. I mean, it's such a wide angle. You uh, you capture so much. Now, quick thing on this lens is that it's nor it normally has this uh, hood on it and it's got these screws around the edge, but just as is a kind of a, the real review of it, it, it doesn't work very good. And these kind of stripped out. And so I just took it off completely, leaving me vulnerable to scratches and stuff. So that's scary. But I um, just talked to Optica today, and they're going to probably resolve that. And so normally you can put uh, that on there, and then you can put the lens cap on, which is a good way to travel around. And then we have an audio out on the side of the camera, and this is the way we roll. If we're going to run and gun, the camera microphone is actually blocked in a way. I mean, it's going to capture some stuff, but it's actually... Uh, it's actually blocked by the fisheye, and so you're going to want to use an external microphone anyways. And so we plug into uh, the mic out, um, this Rode mic, which is attached up top, and we can um, go to 180 degrees or 90 degrees or the wider, more shotgun uh, mode. And this is great for just getting into pointing at people and getting general atmosphere and run and gun, you don't know who's going to be talking type footage. And then when we're going to do interviews, we just simply switch over and plug in. If we're going to do interviews, we plug in receiver, which is um, a wireless transmitter and receiver. That guy on there as well. So we just swap between these two. And then that goes to um, our mic. And so that works out for just incredible inter, uh, interview audio. And we have a kit with that with um, a couple receivers and we have and a couple transmitters. And we've got, uh, we've got, and we've got a uh, waterproof kit with that Pelican case. 1200. This is nice in case uh, we ever just want to throw these in a river. Um, they're going to be all right afterwards. And um, we, uh, we've we got receivers and transmitters in here. And this would also work for a lapel mic. Um, but if you, uh, without like an audio mixer or some kind of a splitter or something, you only do get one, one channel. So that's why we like to to run with this mic. Uh, when you uh, pick up this setup, get an extra battery. And one of the nice things about this battery, it's not, um, it's, you know, it's one of those cheapy aftermarket ones. Um, it, it, you have to say, tell the camera to accept using it. The, the camera doesn't read the battery life. It just shows up when you press this little button on the back. But what's nice about it is it, it actually charges independently from the camera and it will not charge on the actual camera. And so we start out using this battery and then we switch to our stock battery. We switch to our stock Canon battery and we can actually charge this one while the other one is going without it being on the camera. That is, uh, that's, that's an awesome way to go. And this one has to, this one right here actually has to be on the camera camera to um, this battery and, and this battery right here actually has to charge on the camera right here. Um, one other thing 
don't ever leave home without uh, your headphones. Uh, we just have um, some Sony MDR V150s. Always be, uh, always monitor your audio. And the nice thing about this camera uh, is you have manual audio adjustment on the little joystick here. The new version of this camera is touchscreen, a little bit different, but you still have manual audio adjustment, so you can always check your audio levels. A couple other things to note is we have a 30 gigabyte card. That's all I ever use. It gives me a couple hours, and I, I don't exceed that. On that particular card, this is just an example, 128 meg. Um, this is useless and valueless. You can't change the battery without taking the camera actually off because it releases right here. And so you actually have to unscrew it. That's kind of a bummer, but uh, life goes on. And you also can't change the SD card. This, this uh, drawer right here will not open without unscrewing that off and taking the camera off of the X grip, so keep that in mind. And then another key point to this whole setup is this shoe extender. What's nice about that is, is we'd only be able to fit one thing a shoe normally, but because of the shoe extender, we can put two things up there. One other thing that you might want is to have a monopod because uh, they're, um, they're, the screw on the bottom of this will screw into a monopod and this thing can get heavy after a while so if you're doing an interview or something that's 10 minutes in one location um, where you're just standing there holding it it's, it's nice to have a, a monopod for some stabilization so you can travel with that. And last but not least you know consider battery power of course extra battery power for your camera but the wireless um, receiver the wireless receiver is going to take double A's. Shotgun mic, road mic is going to take a 9 volt battery. So you never want to be caught in the field without X, without enough power. So that's the thing set up. If you have any questions or anything, um, comment below. And Think International is a nonprofit organization. And so if you click in the description below, there is actually an affiliate link to Amazon.com. And uh, that's just a store we put together, the Think International store that links you to Amazon stuff. And if you want to pick this setup up um, and you do it through that affiliate link, um, all the equipment's there. That will help us out to uh, keep producing the videos we're producing. So thanks for checking out Think Media TV, Think International, Think Video Setup, helping you move further faster in media. Rules have changed.